this right, thing called on. Picasso. Have you seen this? No, I'm going to Google it. Is that how it's spelled? Picasso, yeah. P-A-C-A-S-O. So two execs at Zillow sp- spun out and created this thing, I think a year ago, and it's already worth one or $2 billion kind of in what? startup valuation world. So I think they created all that value in basically a year to a year and a half. And, um, and what does it do? It's basically a fucking timeshare. So what they do is they buy homes, they convert them to a LLC, and then they sell fractions of that home um, to investors. So they bought like, you know, let's say a house in Napa Valley. They go buy a million dollar house, they convert it into uh, slices of one eighth. So you can own an eighth of this house for whatever, $125,000. You can buy a piece of this home. So you're a fractional homeowner. Uh, and it's meant to be for second homes. So you don't do this for your home, you do this for your like second, your vacation home. And uh, when you buy that one eighth of the house, that gets you 44 nights of a stay um, in that home for the year. And you can either use them yourself, you can gift them to others. I think you can rent them out or get, let them rent it out for you. And this company takes this insane rake. So they take 12% of the purchase price uh, up front, just straight off the bat. And then they charge you a monthly management fee because they have the app that you and the other owners use to coordinate who's booking what, what's the, what's the rental share, what are you, how are you sharing expenses, all that good stuff. And if, you know, if the house goes down, you, uh, you know, you're on the hook for it. They took their money up front. So I thought this was kind of an incredible riff on a timeshare that uh, I'm surprised, frankly, I'm surprised is growing this fast. I didn't, like it doesn't, it's not something I look at and I say, that's awesome. I wish I had done that or thought of that idea. I actually think this is kind of dumb. What do you think? So timeshares, I mean, timeshare is a huge business. I, I like the idea of a timeshare is not bad. I would, I would be into owning one. It's just that I don't want to go like through the sleaziness of, 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 you know what I mean? Like you don't want to sit through the webinar. <laughs> yeah, the I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to go to the <laughs> seminar. So it's, it's weird. So I think it could be cool. Why is it worth so much so fast? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, they've grown. You know, so Picasso valuation. I saw it because there was a big protest going on. So Picasso raises 75 million, goes from launch to unicorn in five months. So I think part of it is... What was the protest? Um, what's that? You said there's a protest? Oh, the protest was basically like in Napa, the home that they bought, the neighborhood was like, yo, what is this? Uh, like, we don't want, uh, we don't want this. We don't want this like timeshare rental. We don't want all these different people coming through. Why, why are they doing this? And so, um, so they basically, you know, they were, they were trying to like, they were trying to say, hey, timeshares are not allowed. And what this company says is it's not a timeshare. In a timeshare, you own a block of time. In this, you actually are a part owner of the home. So it's different than a timeshare. And then people were like, dude, you can't just call it cooperative ownership, make up a new term. And like, it's a timeshare. And so it, they're kind of going back and forth uh, about that. So the guy who started, his name is Spencer, Spencer Razkoff. Is that how I say his name? So he started... And, well, and Austin Allison. So she's actually the CEO. They were both execs at Zillow. So yeah. So one of the co-founders name is Spencer. Have you seen what this guy's done before? No, I, the name sounds familiar. It wasn't he one of the original like founders of, of Zillow? Like, he, yeah. So uh, check this out. In '99, at the age of 24, he founded Hotwire.com, a leading travel internet company. I mean, obviously, that's, right. well, that's hotels, right? They sold it for 700 million dollars. Then he started Zillow, and he took it public. He was a CEO through its IPO and bought loads of different companies. Uh, he's resigned in 2020, so I guess he's out entirely. Uh, then he started Dot LA, which is a media company for uh, California startups. So I guess that's kind of like a passion project. And then now he started Picasso. Dude, this guy's prolific, and he's on the yeah. board of Palantir. So, this guy. So I think like a- this is why it's worth a billion dollars because it's like, oh, the ex CEO of Zillow is doing this new real estate thing. Cool. We're 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 in, and we're sort of price insensitive on uh, the valuation. So I think it has more to do with the team than it does probably the traction in terms of that valuation. Yeah, this guy's a badass. I mean, he's he's a hardcore badass. Would you would you want when I think of these types of things, these companies that raise all this money, we talked about Zillow or we talked about this company Picasso and th- this guy looks like Spencer, that's his hey, history. He's also a podcaster. <laughs> he's got the Office Hours podcast. There you go. Oh, we should have him on here. Spencer, if yeah. you're listening, come on. Do 